Well, a very, very warm welcome to you on what is, of course, a truly special day in this part of the world. It is Derby Day, a rivalry so deeply entrenched into the history of sport in this land. It divides opinions, it divides families, it divides just about anything that can be divided. The game itself lasts just 90 minutes, but its repercussions can be felt for months and years ahead. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, I think we know what we're in for, whatever the circumstances that exist when these two meet. Losing really isn't an option, making this another intense, feisty clash, which should keep everyone on edge. The fans are more nervous than the players, to me, confirming an atmosphere of, of angst. Try telling them there's nothing riding on this. If you're just joining us, we are already on the way. Jim, who do you pick out as the telling individual today? Well, Peter, this guy, Theo Hernandez, comes from a family with great pedigree, although he's a very different player to his older brother, who's a fine player in his own right, but... Teo is about dynamism, pace and energy. He just loves to get on that front foot. Yes, he'd be my pick too. It's going to be all about how they get the best out of him. Shalhanolu. Now it's Martinez. A retrieve, albeit perhaps momentary. Crisp and sharp, and it's Jekko, and it's Chalhanolu. Belts one. Gave it a go, but off target. Yeah, on another occasion, all that went wrong may come right. Corsons. with that. Well, they could break here. That's an untidy challenge. Free kick given. Could have been dangerous, but it came to nothing. And it's the whistle for half-time. Both, both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. Some first-half thoughts. Unspectacular, but solid, and that solidity could yet be the foundation for them to, to go on and win. An engrossing half, but we're still where we started. Nil-nil. Well, the action has already resumed here. Inter can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they played with Ur Brahim Diaz! <laughs> Goes in for the header! It's run loose, who's going to get there? No, he's taken off it, that's really well played. And the shot! Driving forward. Oh, that's a key interception. Tomori. 
he's forced to go back. Oh, delicate chip through. He's in plenty of space here. And the shot! He wasn't that far away. Well, this is simple. The supply is to be admired. The defending is to be admonished. Giroud with the foul. Nana, it'll still anyone's game, nil-nil. And Brozovic. Martinez. Now it's Gorsens. That is a crunching tackle. And he can clear it away. Milan are making a change now. Tackle. Played out wide into space. Oh, well weighted. Milan showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. A couple of changes then in quick succession. Well, for me, this was the obvious substitution. He'd become just a little jaded and. As a result of that, he was most likely to make a mistake. I think sometimes when the body becomes tired, the brain goes with it, and I think that's happened in this case. Bastoni. Barrera. Well, the crowd's impatience is an indicator that they haven't quite given up on a goal just yet. It's Chanolo! Oh, that is rather wayward. Changes here from both sides, in fact. Oh, it's a nice idea, but the execution was lacking. Dumfries. Cross deflected over the goal line for a corner. And in time is up, and there goes the whistle. 